In a battle of life and death, where demons lurk and heroes rise, one confrontation will define the fate of many. Shinobu the insect Hashira is met with a horrifying scene as she opens a door. There, she finds upper rank to demon, Doma, in the midst of devouring a group of women. Doma, the leader of the eternal paradise faith, believes death is a mercy. One woman begs for her life only to provoke Doma's rage. He attempts to kill her before Shinobu intervenes, but it's too late. The woman explodes, dying before Shinobu's eyes. Doma reveals his weapons to large sharp fans. He looks at Shinobu with amusement, recognizing her as the sister of the woman he killed before. Shinobu confronts Doma, her mind flashing back to her sister, Kanai. She recalls how Kana died at Doma's hands, and her heart fills with rage and sorrow. Doma taunts her and tells her that how he never finished eating her sister. Instantly, Shinobu moves with lightning speed, thrusting her blade into Doma's eye. The poison on Shinobu's blade starts to take effect. Doma coughs up blood, but manages to break down the poison within his body. He finds the experience amusing. Considering it a novel challenge, Doma's ice-based blood demon art begins to make the air cold and difficult for Shinobu to breathe. Shinobu prepares for her next attack. She unleashes her Dance of the Centipede, moving so fast that Doma can barely follow her movements. She lands a precise jab into his neck. Despite her attack, Doma's playful demeanor doesn't waver. He counters, severely wounding Shinobu by cutting her collarbone and ribs and puncturing one of her lungs. As she struggles to stand, Doma mocks her, saying that if she were stronger, she could have severed his head by now. This comment cuts deep, as Shinobu has always felt insecure about her physical strength. Desperate, Shinobu repeats her sister's encouraging words to herself. She rises, prepared to fight once more, despite the blood she's already lost. Doma, surprised by her resilience, approaches to deliver the finishing blow. But Shinobu isn't done yet. She prepares her final attack, Dance of the Centipede, Hundred-Legged Zigzag. Her movements become so fast that Doma can no longer predict where she will strike. He swings blindly, missing her. Shinobu dodges and counters, sending Doma crashing into the ceiling. But this only amuses Doma more. He admires her speed and calls her the fastest Hashira he's ever faced. Shinobu's energy is almost spent. She thinks of her sister, her insecurities, and the immense burden she carries. Just as she is about to give up, she sees Kanao enter the room before losing consciousness. Shinobu signals Kanao with a hand gesture, a final message only her student can understand. Her body goes limp and her sword falls to the ground. Doma tightly squeezes as the sound of her bones breaking can be heard. Her body goes limp and Doma begins to consume her, devouring her completely. All that is left is her butterfly-shaped hairpiece. Kana, seeing her beloved master's fate, is consumed by a berserk rage. She charges at Doma, her movements fueled by grief and fury. Kana and Doma engage in a fierce battle. As they clash, Doma quickly realizes that Kana is even more powerful than Shinobu. Her speed and precision keep him on his toes. Despite Kanao's impressive abilities, Doma uses his cunning to close the distance between them. In an instant, he appears right beside her, disarming her and taking her sword. Before Doma can strike, Inosuke bursts into the room from above, announcing his intention to kill Doma and become a Hashira. Seeing Kanao hurt, Inosuke shouts that if Shinobu saw her like this, she would be angry. It dawns on Kanao that Shinobu is truly gone. This realization fuels his rage as he fights Doma with revenge feelings. He retrieves Kanao's sword, ready to continue the battle. During the battle, Doma manages to grab an Osuke mask and recognizing him. He recounts the story of meeting an Osuke mother, who had run away from home with her baby to escape her abusive husband. Doma describes how an Osuke mother joined his cult and her beauty made a lasting impression on him. He reminisces about the time she spent with her baby, holding Inosuke and singing to him, Pinky Promise. Inosuke becomes teary-eyed, recalling the love and sacrifice of his mother. This enrages him further, and he declares that simply cutting off Doma's head will not be enough. He will send Doma straight to hell. During the battle, Doma reveals that I want your mom as my appearance forever until she died. 
But she is intelligent and caught me eating my worshippers after that she ran away from my cult. Doma tries to escape as he learns that Akaza is dead. He knows Muzin will be furious if he doesn't return. Doma creates clones of himself to keep Kanao and Inosuke busy and attempts to flee. Inosuke and Kanao defeat the clones with their combined efforts. When Doma reaches the door, he starts melting, realizing he is dying from the poison of Shinobu, whom he consumed recently. Kanao remembers her master Shinobu telling her that her body was filled with poison from her nails and all over. That's why Doma is melting. Kanao recalls her sister's advice to use her last technique when the time comes. Realizing he can't win, Kanao sees her chance. She uses her last move, Equinox Flower, to finish him off. Despite the strain on her body, she fights through the pain, making it easier for them to land a final blow. Kanao and Inosuke land a critical strike, decapitating Doma in disbelief. Doma reflects on his life, realizing he never felt genuine emotion. In the realm of nothingness, he meets Shinobu and questions if this is what true love feels like. Because Shinobu, I love you, can you go out with me in hell? This is his first emotion he felt, and Shibu tell him some bad words, which will be revealed in comment section. Now, Kanao retrieves Shinobu's hairpiece, and in spirit form, the two sisters congratulate her on their victory before disappearing forever. The battle against Doma ends with a bittersweet triumph. Kanao and Inosuke's greatest achievement comes at the cost of Shinobu's life. Their story is one of sacrifice, vengeance, and ultimately, victory in the relentless war against demons.